हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रदीप यादव आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट माय चैनल द नॉलेज अड्डा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड इट्स इवोल्यूशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर व्हाट इज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर how does a micro processor work why do we use micro processor application of micro processor advantages of micro processor common terms used in micro processor and micro processor evolution means after finishing this video you can learn following things that is really important that is really important for basic knowledge about microprocessor in this video you can know what is microprocessor how does microprocessor work and what is important pop uh, microprocessor and how microprocessor come in this market so let's start the video firstly what is microprocessor now you know microprocessor is a integrated circuit that contains all the function of a central processing unit of a computer i hope you all guys have seen the computer uh, also you can take example of uh, you know desktop there is a box we used to call cpu basically that cpu use example of microprocessor means that box which we used to call cpu that is a microprocessor now what happened microprocessor is a multi purpose programmable logic device that reads binary instruction from a storage device that is called memory accept that binary data as input and process data according to those instruction and provide result as output my meaning is to say that ki whatever you want to do in microprocessor you have to provide your input in form of binary means 0 and 1 now what happen you know generally whatever we write in microprocessor that save in memory in form of bits means suppose you have write you have written 0 5 so that 05 will not save as 05 in microprocessor or you can say in memory that will save in form of bit means 0000101 that is you know 8 bit of 05 and everything which is happen in microprocessor in term of binary bits or hexadecimal number whatever your number is going to write in microprocessor by default microprocessor will consider as hexadecimal suppose i have uh, written 11 so that will consider as hexadecimal number not decimal to represent decimal you have to write d then that will represent as decimal otherwise it will by default treated as hexadecimal so everything in microprocessor done in form of bits or hexadecimal now a processor is a brain of a computer which basically consist of arithmetic and logic unit control unit and register array arithmetic and logic unit basically that is a unit where all the arithmetic and logical operation will be performed control unit means that you need to use to control all the process which is happen inside the microprocessor register array means collection of register and register used to store data temporary now here is a definition as the name indicate lu perform all the arithmetic and logical operation on the data received from the input device or memory register array consist of a series of register like a kilometer a b c d e h l with x as temporary memory location for processing data and as the name indicates control unit control the flow of instruction and data throughout the system 
Now, uh, when we talk about a block diagram of microprocessor, here this is a, a simple block diagram of microprocessor. Now, let me take an example, simple example. You know, input device. Input device means just uh, just I am uh, taking consideration of a uh, you know uh, laptop. That keyboard is work as input device. If you are using mouse, that mouse will work as input device. Now talking about microprocessor, that is main thing. That is you can say motherboard. And output device means that monitor. Because at the screen we are finding our output. Also, you can take example of printout. If your printout is connected to your microprocessor, in that case, that printout machine will work as output device. And memory is just we use two type of memory in microprocessor. One is RAM, and second is ROM. ROM for you know ROM for generally used for uh, uh, some. Uh, program which is permanent program uh, in RAM uh, you can change the program just you can take example of calculator there are two type RAM used uh, memory used in calculator also there is a room that is permanent memory where you can't change anything but in RAM you can change anything RAM is temporarily best memory you can say so here in this block diagram this is input device means you can take example of mouse and keyboard this is motherboard you can say here monitor and printout and this is ram and rom you can say now important part of microprocessor one is control unit to control all the process within the microprocessor input output units means you can say input port and output port input port for providing input output for getting out output now arithmetic where microprocessor perform all the arithmetic and logical operations register to store data cache for fast accessing data means temporary storage of data you can say now how does a microprocessor work this is very simple the microprocessor follow a sequence that is fetch decode and execute fetch means just fetch the information from memory and there is a decoder which used to decode that information which get from the memory or you can say from input device and execute means processor works after getting the information from decoder and give outputs. Now, here the microprocessor fetch those instructions from the memory and then decode it and execute those instructions. So, basically, a microprocessor take input from input device, process as per instruction given in the memory and produce output. Why do we use microprocessor? This is very good question why we use microprocessor now there are many example first one is it is used to build a system which can perform multiple tasks by avoiding the use of traditional transistor individually and thus making this system compact in size you know before the microprocessor whatever you are going to perform is like addition subtraction multiplication generally we use to transistor and transistor make the system very bulky to replace that microprocessor come in the market and microprocessor just build a system which can perform multiple tasks by using up so much transistor now it is basic building block of the third generation computer that makes them compact and versatile a microprocessor is similar to our human brain it can train to do anything it can program to do anything we want based on its instruction set and capabilities whatever we want to make a program we can force the microprocessor to do so only you have to change the program and your instruction and command sometimes solution are very complex circuit also become very complex if we try to solve it without 
programming if you want to solve anything by using programming microprocessor is the best choice to do this now application of microprocessor there are many application of microprocessor whatever you see where calculation is required where programming is required means you are going to use microprocessor or you can say processor in there now just microprocessor is used in personal computer whatever laptop or desktop you are using we are using microprocessor also you can take example of mobile phones the microprocessor is used in laser printers for good speed and making automatic photo the microprocessor are used in modems telephone digital telephone sets and also in air reservation system and railway reservation systems the microprocessor is used in medical instrument to measure temperature and blood pressure it is also used in mobile phone and television it is used in calculator and game machine it is used in accounting system and data acquisition system and it is used in military applications it is also used in traffic light control microprocessor is used in home appliances such as microwave oven washing machines microprocessor are being used in controlling various parameter like speed pressure temperature these are used with the help of suitable transductions but now here you can see the multiple application of microprocessor and uh, overall you can say where is calculation required programming required means you are going to do some microprocessor programming and also you are going to use microprocessor in such type of application now what is advantage of microprocessors first is low cost microprocessor are available at low cost due to integrated circuit technology which will reduce the cost of a computer system high speed microprocessor chip can work at very very high speed due to technology involved in it it is capable of executing millions of instruction per second microprocessor with 3 gigahertz is capable of performing 3 billion tasks per second basically microprocessor speed is measured in you know hertz megahertz gigahertz and here you can uh, see the example if the microprocessor with 3 gigahertz means that microprocessor is capable of performing 3 billion tasks per second that is enough you know in enough amount versatile microprocessor very versatile the same chip can be used for number of application by simply changing the program low power consumption microprocessors are usually manufactured using metal oxide semiconductor technology in which mosfet means metal oxide semiconductor fill effect transistor are working in cut off mode cut off mode means there is no flow of okay just so uh, oh, sorry for delay actually i have press some well wells that's why we return back and okay you know cut off mode means there is no flow of current you can say so that's why it's required very low voltage uh, you can say low current to run the microprocessor only 5 volt is required you know <coughs> less heat generation compared to vacuum tubes semiconductor device would not emit that much heat now reliable microprocessor very reliable failure rates is very less portable device or computer system made with microprocessor can made be portable due to the small size and low power consumptions a small size due to very large scale and ultra large scale integration technology a microprocessor is fabricated in a very less footprint this will reduce the size of entire computer system and another advantage of microprocessor is that it can quickly move data between the various memory locations now common term used in microprocessor bus bus means connecting wire if you are using a computer system and if you are going to open the box you can see there are multiple wires connected 
within the device basically that wire is called bus in case of microprocessor and that bus is used to transmit the data address or control signal within the microprocessor instruction set instruction set is a group of command that a microprocessor can understand and perform the operation according those instructions now word length word length is the number of bits in the internal data bus of a processor or it is the number of bits a processor can process at time if you are talking about 8 bit processor means 8 bit processor will have an 8 bit data bus 8 bit register and will do 8 bit processing at a time now in nowadays there are many processor who works on 16 bit processor means they are working on 16 bit data at a time you can take example of you no know, uh, code you 7i 3i 5i generation something like that this is the name of some processor which is produced by intel now cache memory cache memory is a random access memory that is integrated into the processor so the processor can access data in the cache memory more quickly than from a regular ram it is also known as cpu memory cache memory is used to store data or instruction data frequently referenced by the software or program during the operation so it will increase the overall speed of operations clock speed microprocessor uses a clock single to control the rate at which instructions are executed synchronize other internal components and to control the data transfer between them so clock speed refer to the speed at which microprocessor execute instruction it is usually measured in you know hertz and expressed in megahertz gigahertz we have already discussed ki how speed affect the process of microprocessor bandwidth it is number of bits processed in a single instruction data type the microprocessor the microprocessor has multiple data type format like binary bcd ASCII, sign and unsigned number now uh, evolution of microprocessor we can characterize the microprocessor according to generation or according to size of the microprocessor first generation is 4 bit microprocessor the first generation microprocessor were introduced in the year uh, you know 1971 by intel and it was named intel 4004y because it was 4 bit microprocessor and it was a processor on a single chip it could perform simple arithmetic and logical operations like you know such as addition subtraction boolean or and boolean and and it had a control unit capable of performing control function like fetching an instruction from memory decoding it and then generating control pulses to execute it now second generation was 8 bit microprocessor that was again introduced by intel in 1973 and it was first 8 bit microprocessor which could perform arithmetic and logical operation on 8 bit words and it was intel 8008 and its another improved version was intel 8088 third generation that is 16 bit microprocessor that is also introduced by intel in 1978 that name was 8086 gilog j800 and 8028 6 which were 16 bit microprocessor now fourth generation that is 32 bit processor that was introduced by intel and that was 80386 now talking about fifth generation from 1995 to now we are in the fifth generation after 80856 intel came out with you no know, some new processor namely pentium processor pentium pro cpu which allows multiple cpu in a single system to achieve multiple processing you know other improved version was serlon dual core crude core core processor i3 i7 and many more latest processor of intel is that is 10th generation that is works on 60 bit uh, microprocessor where we can perform 16 bit operation at a time and that is some uh, functionality of uh, latest processor of intel where you can find out 
you know including 5.3 giga hot means that is clock speed where microprocessor going to is cute means 5.3 billion instruction or task per second you can say where is wi-fi 6 and 4k hdr also available so these are some improvement of uh, uh, microprocessor now here the table where you can find how evaluation of microprocessor occurs first microprocessor was 4w4 that was 4 bit that is introduced in 1971 second was 8085 that is 1976 8 bit 8086 1978 80286 1982 these are you know some table where you can find when intel introduce some new processor here you can see pentium pentium pro no, Pentium Third, Pentium Four, now 2001 Itanium, that was 64 bit Intel Core 2, 64, and i3, i5, i7, that was introduced by Intel in 2007, 2009, and 2010. Now, and uh, already we have discussed about uh, latest Intel processor. Here, these are some nomenclature which I have used uh, in this. Uh, you know in this table you can find out there is a mention pga and uh, gigahertz ms cmid so you can find what is full form that uh, particular uh, sentence and uh, if you want to visit some more intel processor family by clicking on this link you can find out so this is in this video and thank you for watching this video if you like this video please comment thank you